Hey, Jasmine, how you doing? This is Tony. Tony. Hey, Tony, what's going on? Man, nothing. I uh, I just wanted to, um, the reason why I hit you up, you know, you was here Saturday and we did the interview Saturday, but it was so loud in the club. Um, I wanted to make it right. I didn't want to put the interview out there and it didn't do you any justice. So I, I appreciate you calling in. Oh, no problem. And um, I, I I got a chance to um to read your bio, and um, I want to say congratulations. Um, I see you out here on your grind. You definitely out here on your grind. Thank you, super super much. You know, I've been trying to. It's kind of hard because like it's hectic, oversaturated now, where everybody's trying to be on TV and everything like that. But I've been trying, so I'm proud of myself too. That's what's up. Um, I just want to get into a couple of things um, to let you know a little something about our radio station. We promote, you know, positive things that go on in our Afri African American community. Um, you know, a lot of times people do TV interviews and radio interviews, and they want to bring up drama, but that's not what we're about. We're about uplifting people who are doing something positive for themselves. Um, I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, how you got your start. I know you started in like 2007. Um and explain like how 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 does one get into the entertainment industry, you know, in this day and time. I know you mentioned that it's kind of saturated, but you've been able to kind of stand out from the rest. Um well I I kind of came into it on the by accident um from my face. Um when a photographer hit me up was like, you know, you like the look, you want can you take some pictures for us? And I took pictures, and ever since then, I've been taking pictures and submitting them to people and doing stuff like that. And um, I've been to a couple auditions. Most of them I got turned down, but, you know, that's, like, part of the process of wanting to do what you have to do. You know, doors are going to get closed. But, you know, you just got to keep focusing and keep your head straight and everything like that, and it'll work out for you, but... Like, one thing that you have to have is tough skin for anything that's just especially like the entertainment industry. Right. And people will, like, chew you down, talk about you. You know, you have to really think twice before you think this is what you really want. Because everything that is good is not gold. Because some things that's happening now, I'm like, I'm not ready for this. I did not know this was going to happen. People are talking about me this way. But, you know, it's, it's all a part of it. So, you know, it's starting to be like whatever. But, yeah. Oh yeah, you know this, this this industry can, you know, rip you apart. I I remember, and I tell people, you know, every interview that I do, um, I tell them I was a child star gone broke. You know, I I kind of got into the industry at the age of what was it like twelve years old. I did my first music video, and I look at how the industry is today, as opposed to back then. Back then, it was like based off pure talent. Now it's kind of like you know, what can you do for me? And yeah, exactly. Um, I see that you um you know had the chance to be in a in a music video with one of my favorite groups um back in um 2009 Go Shorty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that was kind of by accident too. A lot of, a lot of these things I do, I, I fall into by accident. Um, I had just moved to Atlanta not too long ago, and um, I heard. I I heard the song, I think it was on YouTube, and my friend was like, oh, they're shooting a video, and they was like, you know, give me your, your picture, and I sent it to him, and I, I, sent, I sent my friend my picture, and he sent it to over to, I guess, Charlie Porter's manager, and then, um, you know, I, I came in, I did a little shot, I got there really late, so I didn't get to get all the time that, you know, I was told about with the manager, because I got there late, but... It was fun, you know, except it's, it's just like the video is like three minutes long, but you're here for hours. That's the crazy thing. Like, it's like really crazy. Yeah. I mean. Playing in and all kind of stuff. That's what's up. Yeah, a, a lot of people don't understand the time and work that goes into videos. Uh, back when I was, you know, got a chance to be in a video, when the director yelled cut, he was like, okay, y'all will see the video in about three to four months. You know, and I was like, wow. You know, now that. <laughs> They cutting videos in a week now. Yes. Real quick. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. So, it's really, yeah. um, and you actually did another music video um, with a popular artist that was out there on the West Coast. Yeah, um, 
that's um young Rod. He has he's actually he just got signed to a uh, prime time quick with the road, so he's gonna be putting out some some stuff real really uh quickly. He's a very talented artist. Um the song did pretty well out there. Um that was his uh pretty much his first music video that he did and it was, it was cool. I had fun with that. Um, mainly because I'm showing, you know, my city love. It's in San Francisco. That's where I'm from. So I was really excited to do that and show my partner some love and just be a part of that whole Bay atmosphere stuff. It was real cool because I, I feel like the Bay don't get enough respect. So me doing that, I was really, you know, made me feel good about a lot of stuff, a little positive activity that people are doing and everything like that. Right, and and, and 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 that's what we need. We need more, you know, positive things being promoted, especially in the black race, and and able to work together. I know one of the biggest things they say in Memphis is that it's so hard for artists to come together and work together. Um, how's it like out there in San Francisco, as far as you know, artists and models and stuff? Do y'all do do they typically be for? They kind of get along, or well, um, the thing with the Bay Area is that um, it's just it just stays in the Bay Area. Everything that you do, it, it stays in the Bay Area. If you want to be something bigger, you have to venture out. Like, people, like the ladies, you know, they say, oh, I model, I model, but, like, you model, but just because you take pictures and post them on MySpace or Model Mayhem or Facebook, do not necessarily mean that you're a model. You you are inspiring to be a model. So, you know, people got a, a, a misconception about that for one. You know, they just say, oh, I take pictures on a model. That's, that is not true for anybody. And, like, you know, the rappers out there, it's just like any any other state you go to, you have your popular Bay Area, I mean, popular rappers in that area that are just going to stay there. And some sometimes that's how the Bay is because they don't like to venture out. But um, some of them, like Mr. Fab, they're starting to cross over, um, Lyle, you know, E-40, they 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 kind of you know tuning in to other people, but we have a lot of people that still want to go hyphy and go dumb, and that's the kind of music they putting out because that's what our culture is in the day. So that's pretty much what they're gonna say, you know. Right, and 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 definitely some words of wisdom um, that all inspiring you know artists out there, models, whatever you do, you need to pay attention to that because that's some real stuff right there. Um, I feel like the game would be a lot farther along if people would realize that that you know. Jumping in a recording booth or snapping some pictures doesn't necessarily mean that you're able to get into the industry. It's a it's a whole you know layer of swag, attitude, business minded. You know that that can carry yeah. you far. Exactly. So yeah, just like you know, a lot of things. People always ask me questions about the modeling thing. You know, I myself, you know, I just was taking pictures. People ask me, you know, while while I was doing my photo shoots, like, are you a model? I'm like. No, but I, I'm inspiring to be one. I'm taking these pictures to better myself and do my portfolio so then I could actually say that, yes, I do model for such and such person. Right. But I, I still honestly can't say that I'm a model right now because I haven't done anything that's going to, like, you know, something big enough to make me that title. You know, I, I feel that I haven't made it there yet. Wow. But that's... because I've done one or two things doesn't necessarily mean that's what I am. Right. But once I get bigger, then I will, I will take the responsibility of that title. Right. But, you know, um, you know, a lot of people, they just like, you know, in, the, in anywhere, they, like, I got a fashion show coming up, or I got this, I got that. Not One thing you have to remember is you cannot do every single thing that somebody offers you because you have to keep going up. You just can't stay at that same level. Right. So if you keep having the same fashion shows around or same rap battles around, you know, try to go somewhere further like a different state, a different city to do your battles, to do your modeling. So you can keep making steps up, not just going down the street around the corner just to say that I did this and I did that. Exactly, exactly. You know, people are not, you know, when you got your resume, people are not looking at, oh, you did six fashion shows in the Bay Area, six, six rap battles in the Bay Area, or wherever you stay at, they're looking for, oh, you did a fashion show in New York, you did one in London, you did one in France, all the places, that's what they're looking at, you right. know? Exactly, wow. So, this so. is... This is much needed information. I mean, I, I really appreciate you dropping this knowledge off. I want to just touch a little bit about you know um, moving from 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 you know your career, taking it to the next level, getting on VH1. Um, to me, that's like a a, a a real big thing in my eye. You know, to actually make it on national TV. 
Yeah, that was, um, I was so excited when, um, that happened. It was like, um, uh, like something that I wanted and, you know, it's always something that you want. You can taste it and it's there, but you can never get there. But once she's there, it's just like this feeling that's like really, like you can't even explain. I was like ex very excited. And just to be, you know, uh, I, I was around probably the people that, you know, the production of VH1 and just to see how they work, that's that's the main thing, how hard they work to tell me their stories. Not even just about being on TV, just, you know, how they worked and how they got to their situation. And it, it made me, you know, like, okay, I'm here, but I, this is not where I, I, I can, I'm going to stay. I need to go further. Right. So, you know, it's just, um, it, was a, it was a real good feeling. I'm hoping that this, the VH1 show takes me further and it, it gave me a lot of knowledge about the industry and about people and about myself too so I'm hoping that it, it turns into something spectacular oh uh, well I feel like it already has I mean just just you coming to Memphis I mean the club at 152 was going bananas everybody was showing you a lot of love when you came to Memphis yeah, I was like, oh, my God, it was so crazy. I was like, man, this is crazy. Everybody was like, oh, is that Jasmine, Jasmine, I was like, this. Memphis is the, the the best city I've been in that showed me the most love in any city I've ever been in, and I really appreciate it, like, from the bottom of my heart. That is, it was, like, touching. I called my mom, I'm like, Mom, you won't believe all these people are here. They're like, Jasmine, I'm going to take a picture. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, this is so cool. I, I was really excited. I was putting all day on my Facebook about Memphis. Yeah. I really, shout out to Memphis. I really, I, I loved it. It was so fun. Man, it, it, it was actually funny. Um, after I left the club... I had so many people outside begging me for my wristband just so they can get up on the second floor. I was like, man, <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with the club for passing on my wristband. But, I mean, with so many people, the line, I mean, even at like 2, 3 in the morning, people were still trying to get in just, just, just so they can hang out with you. And I was like, man, you know, that's just a blessing in my eye to see somebody's career just gradually just go to the next level like that. I was like, man, that's what we need, positive things like that. And that type of stuff needs to be highlighted, you know. We need to promote yeah. that type of stuff in our Afri African American community because a lot of times they don't put positive stuff out like that. They always want to put out the things that try to hurt us, but we need to showcase when 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 people can go to a city and thousands of people come in there and show love like that. That needs to be promoted. Exactly. Really. I, that perfectly said. <laughs> <laughs> Dig that. Um, hey, all my fans out there that's listening, y'all, they've been hitting me up. They've been waiting on this interview, so I know the fans are really gonna love this. Uh, if they want to book you for any club appearances, TV, or any kind of jobs like that, how can they get in contact with you? Um, you can hit me up on my Twitter. It's uh, at vh1 jasmine j a s m i n e, or my Gmail. It's it's uh, vh1 jasmine at gmail dot com. Pretty simple. Facebook is Jasmine Lanier, L-E-N-N-E-A-R. So any one of those you can hit me up in. I do respond to everybody, so don't be afraid to hit me up and think I won't respond. I'm not stuck up. I'll make sure I hit everybody up. So let's talk. That's right. And all y'all club owners out there, if you want your club on Swole, you need to definitely hit her up because she can get the people to come out. I got the proof. I was there, and the line was swooped around the building, so she would definitely bring some folks to your club. Get at her. That's what's up. Hey, before Thank you, you. Hey, before you go, can I get you to say this, Jasmine? Are uh, you listening to WRUG? I can't your phone broke up. What did you say? Say this is Jasmine from VH1. Uh, you listening to WRUG Radio? This is Jasmine from VH1, and you're listening to WRUG Radio. That's what's up, man. I definitely appreciate it.